What's up guys, I got the Photon Gen 2, I took it on a thermal test, a top speed test, and a hill test. Let's see what this thing is made of. As for the pedal assist, it feels pretty smooth and natural. If you don't know how a torque sensor works, it detects how hard you're pushing the pedals, and it gives you a proportional power to match your effort. If you're starting from a stop, it's going to have a bit of a delay because of the cadence sensor. It detects if you're moving your pedals for safety reasons before it engages the motor. You can turn it off if you want a more instant engagement, but I haven't had an issue with it so far. Okay, so here's the app. You got a pretty good amount of information here. Alright, so you go in your settings and you can adjust the pedal assist. The torque sensor sensitivity is how sensitive it is to your pedal pressure. So if you have it too low, and you're pedaling too lightly, it might not even engage. But if you have it really high, it'll engage you really easily. Which I don't have a problem with. I don't really see a reason to turn it low. Other than initial engagement, if you have it low, it's going to treat your high effort as low effort. So you won't get as many watts. If you have it high, it's going to treat your low effort as high effort. So it's going to give you more watts back. As for the power ramp up time, if you have it set to high, it's going to smooth out the power more, so it'll spread out the power in between pedal strokes. The only downside of that is that if you want to stop pedaling, it has a little bit of a run on because of the fact that it delays the ramp up of the power. And then also, when you initially start pedaling, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to ramp up to the full power. If you have it set to low, it's going to give you instant bursts of power for each pedal stroke, but they're very short bursts, so it's not going to be a smooth ride. It's mainly if you're going to climb tech or you're doing mountain biking. You want to have precise bursts of power for each step. It feels like if you're mashing the pedals. It's not very smooth, but it's super precise. If you're commuting and you have the ramp up time low, it's just going to feel twitchy and jerky. With the motor assist factor, if you have it high, it's going to multiply your power more. The only reason I see to turn it low is if you are spinning out too much, but spinning out shouldn't really be an issue if you have proper gearing.